he broke Twitch's world record for the largest private donation ever. I'll give you 300k to perfect the girl voice. Okay, deal. I'll do it. He donated $25,000 to the National Center of Transgender Equality. I'll give you 25,000 to leave that box closed. He helped me out through my organs failing. He's a man shrouded in mystery and today that comes to an end. Late last year, this happened. No strings attached, but if you feel like it, give me a sexy smile and say thank you ten muses in a soft, sexy voice. <laughs> huh? And that led to the most insane saga I've ever heard of any Twitch streamer having, ever. Does my princess like her presents? Yes I do, daddy! Yes I do! Oh my god, yes I do! Change. Fuck. Change. Be still my heart. Have you enjoyed being daddy's princess tonight? I've enjoyed it very much. And then... The UK economy collapsed. The queen died. Bold man did bad thing. Mortgages and gas prices skyrocketed. The government made some terrible decisions. And the value of the pound dropped off the face of the earth. And I started bitching about it on stream. <laughs> did it lose 10% of its value in a f***ing month? No, I was right then. I lost 30 grand. F 10. 22%. <laughs> if I go 50. Sigh. <laughs> I know. Hold on. He just bought me a Tesla. You know, if there was a donation like tier list like they have for those blockbuster movies, I'm like the Avengers Endgame of booby streamers. <laughs> but hey, not all of his donations benefited me. Case in point. Listen, I could have any girl I want, because I own an Audi A4 2007. It's got a little bit of mold on it, but look at that, baby. Barbie girl car. That's not a girly car. And... <laughs> How much to wrap the car? 5.6, that's my final offer. Lowest, I'll go 5.6. Beautiful and feminine. I didn't even have time to make the fucking goal. How this goes is I go like, I want to get the car wrapped pink. And my dad goes, I know this guy. He'll do it within the day. It is now months later. It is not done. He's getting around to it, and he's left the job half done. But anyway, the f***ing crackhead that has my, my car, <laughs> without me knowing, he has decided to do £1,600 worth of work to the car. So he goes, well, you owe me £1,600. And I went, that that's stupid. So what I may do is just see what I can negotiate for and get my car back without paying him much, and then, uh, and then wrap it pink. No, that'd be fun. All right. So you guys were all wondering who this guy is. What this guy does. Is he Mafia? Is he the long lost brother of Andrew Tate? A Russian oligarch maybe? Just the doctor. Okay, well. <laughs> Ten is a big fancy American doctor. With a ton of money apparently. Ladies. He's single by the way. He's done every surgery from breast augmentation to a partial nephrectomy. Mother cut out a tumor out of someone's organs. <laughs> I mess with him every now and then because he gets slightly annoyed when I say something like, wow, that's so cool you've got your PhD or, you know, whatever MD means. It's basically the same thing. <laughs> After all that training, it takes like 14 years, by the way, Ten made a ton of good investments. He built many different companies. CEO Chad Ten. And now he gives it to online fanboys. One online fanboy. I do sort of owe him $10,000 though. <laughs> Hold on! Chat! Chat! Ten Muses has said, would I repierce it lower in the right spot for a pair of diamond earrings? Worth 10k. Time to reap the benefits of being cool. I, I think I can't actually remember any time I've ever seen a diamond in real life. I have never held one. And like, dude, why should I keep it? Yeah, that was like six months ago. 
My bad. <laughs> I should really refund him. Anyway, on PKA, you may know him, FPS Russia. He said it'd be funny if I got my driving license changed. Renewed as a girl. Here's what I would donate a lot of money for you to do. Go get your driver's license renewed in girl And mode. then come to my house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, I can use this until I'm 28 years old. Imagine your new picture. Yeah. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> my God. What a hell of a dono goal that would be. That should last for 10 years. Eyelash extensions on government ID photo. You can't just pay me money. That's a lot of money, but it's not nearly enough to make me do that. Changing a UK driver license photo is a massive £14. But I'm not gonna do it as a girl! I have to hand that to everyone! Name a prize. No, this isn't happening. We're not doing this. We're not doing this. But you look like this most of the time, so the photo should match. Not f uh, you're not serious about this chat. I'm not gonna be uh, new donor goal 26,936. I'll have my uh, driver's license as a girl. Solid, cool. 100%. Congratulations. Oh. You now have to embarrass yourself in front of a government agency. I got the letter back, by the way, <laughs> yesterday, and they said my photo was the wrong size. It wasn't. Huh? The government's being a pain in the ass on this. There was also another reason, but that's a secret. It's gonna be annoying, but it'll be really f***ing funny if it works, so I'm gonna keep going. This is for me now. It's gonna be so goddamn funny if it works. 10 has become a bit of a beacon of hope from the chatters of Twitch for hitting the insane goals that I set. You know, like actually doing laser hair removal. I think that ass hair is just f***ing gross. It's stupid. I don't require it. All right. I'm ready. I'm f***ing ready. I'm ready. Mother f it. Ah! I've made a severe lapse in my judgment. A lot of people wanted me to hit this goal, and they were getting there. Here's my part. Uh, but eventually, Tank came in and helped out a little bit. Ah! Looks easy. Go for it. It doesn't at all! <laughs> What? Oh my god! What the nice f done. Five thousand dollars for me? <laughs> well, I booked the fucking laser hair removal today. So I went in. They say, okay, we're gonna need access to the back of your leg. And I was wearing shorts. So I was like, yeah, I prepared. I got shorts on. I had a short sleeve t shirt to get to my armpit. She was like, ah, you're gonna have to take that off. And I was like, okay, cool. I'll take my shirt off. She went, no, 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 everything. Everything? We met 30 seconds ago, woman. 9.5 out of 10. Nearly perfect. She's like 30 or something. And she, she clearly takes good care of herself. Strip. <laughs> On a cold day. Like we worked up. So it was like back of the leg, which was fine. I had a little towel over my butt. But then that towel had to go because she had to get to my butt after a bit. So upon meeting this woman, like again, a few minutes ago at this point, She's spreading my f***ing cheeks apart to shove a laser down in that thing. Spreading like little, little gel on it and then going... <laughs> Hurt like a mother by the way. Don't do it. <laughs> okay, fellas. Let's get serious. No memes allowed. I died recently? So my gallbladder stopped f***ing working. Rose is dying. I'm dying. If you didn't know, wait five minutes. She will tell us again. And my organs are failing. I am dying. A crippled little rocker. Give Ten some f***ing points. I had him on the phone half a day. We've gone through checks. He was calling places. I called 111, which if you don't know in the UK, that's like, um, hey, I don't know what the f***'s going on. I don't think I need an ambulance, but this, is, this feels quite bad. And he gets to the end of it and very politely says, we need to get the emergency room within an hour. And I went, while I was like about to dial the ambulance, I just felt like relief when the pain went away. What we think happens is my Chad body can push the stone out through my bus and then I was just fine. So what I did was the next day, got a meeting within an hour, got a referral for surgery that I'm hoping I'm not gonna have to do. Okay, seriously, I really can't put into perspective how much he helped. The pain was awful. 
It lasted hours. It was the worst pain I've ever experienced in my life. I would have definitely needed to get surgery if it wasn't for 10 helping. If it wasn't for the advice, what to do, diagnosing it, what drugs to take when the NHS wouldn't tell me, food to eat to recover, what scans to get. Now knowing what the issue was, and after it's now been resolved, there was a real chance that I'd have been very seriously permanently injured or could have died if I'd have just left it like I'd planned to do and just dealt with it. I didn't want to bring down the stream when I talked about it, but it was a serious issue. And when I tried to contact the NHS or my local GP, they told me I'd have to take weeks to get it looked at. I've never talked about this before, but during and after the fact, Ten researched the best clinics for me to go to, called places as a doctor and said, here's the medical term of what we need. And that was great. I know it's not the craziest thing now, but he also paid for all the scans and the treatment that I went through. I really can't value him enough for that. But he's kind of a little bitch, not gonna lie. <laughs> he sent me the worst thing I have ever gotten in any P.O. Box opening ever. Whoa, it's a heavy boy. Look at that scale. When have you seen an elastic band do this, chat? My new streaming chair. <laughs> what do you think, chat? I like it. It's optimum, you know? Like, it's it's optimal, uh... Defiance equals chair. I will not repeat myself. Okay. <laughs> Can I come out now? This is bullshit. This is a bullshit punishment, you know it. What is that? You will sit there until your attitude is better. Suck my dick. Bratty sub needs disciplined. It's an uncomfortable ass chair, man. It's so uncomfortable. I'm not a good girl anymore. Yeah! No more. Um, what is going on? Nothing. I've still got the chair. It's doing just great. It's, it's doing solid. You tell me which one of those I'm supposed to sit on. <laughs> Whoa! Uh, Are you ready to be good now, princess? I'm... Yes. I am. Yes, yes daddy. who? Yes, daddy. You don't sound sincere. Stay on the stool. <laughs> I'm taking my gun and my knife. He's gonna tell you to leave it on the table now. Oh my god, what are you done? Soda knows what he's talking about. Hands free. Just apologize and ask me nicely and I'll consider it. Please, daddy. I've been so good. I feel like... Ah, uh, no, so no, 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 no. Try again. You're met this up. stuff. What if you... What the fuck, man? It spawned months worth of torment from chat. From you, and I will never forget what he did sending me that goddamn chair. This is the manliest thing I have done all year. So I strapped on my kilt and prepped for the coolest sh I do this entire year. Actually. You want to introduce yourself? I'm ten. <laughs> How come you're leaving? Well, I uh, decided to stop working and start ticking off some things from my bucket list. Came across you, and it's been great. On your bucket list, did you have yeah. donate half a million dollars to a fanboy? I did not. I did not have <laughs> that. that. That was that one sort of evolved on its own. What else is on the list? My buddy and I wanting to climb the seven summits, the tallest mountains on each of the the seven continents in the world. I've already started, I've done Kilimanjaro, and if we can manage to keep doing it, we'll finish with Everest at the end. But that's a big if. Another thing on my bucket list has been to, to sail around the world in a sailboat, all by myself. Do you mm -hmm. have a boat? It's an <laughs> Island Packet 380. Oh, damn. Sailing around the world's a, a large endeavor, and um, unless you're racing or trying to finish it quick, it usually takes years. And that will make it hard for me to, to watch your streams, but it won't keep us from staying in touch. I'll still, I'll still let you know how I'm doing, and I'll still want to know how you're doing. Hell so yeah. It's been one of the most fun things that I've ever done. It wasn't on my bucket list, but looking back on it, um, uh, I wouldn't trade it for anything. Hello! Didn't think you'd see me again, eh? I just finished the Christmas stream, and uh, 
I knew I wanted to do something this year with how fortunate I've been, and I decided a few months ago that I was going to give away $25,000, strictly to help one problem. If you guys don't know, in the UK, there is some straight up cruel practices to trans women and trans men trying to get healthcare. The NHS system was just not built for it. There's five year long waiting list to get a consultation. The trans community has been incredibly welcoming and accepting to me and me doing what I do. And uh, it sucks to know so many people are going through some sh for it. So here's what I did. Right now, there's a bank account with $25,000 in it. That money is not mine. It is yours. Thank you so much to Philosophy Tube. They helped me understand the system a hell of a lot more than I did. I've got some good plans for it, but I do want your help. Suggestions, how to best get this money out. I do have some good ideas involving contacting private clinics in order to do this. Access to trans healthcare is much easier when you go privately. The waiting list goes from two, three, four, five years long down to a couple months. And getting that first consultation and getting on the system is the main issue. And so that's what I want to try and help. And you might be wondering why I'm doing this intense goodbye video, and it's because me and him talked about it. And I have good news. Turns out I'm not giving away $25,000. I'm giving away $50,000. Ken is matching this with us. He's helping out with how to distribute the money. And I think that's a really cool thing that he's doing. I wanted to put this at the end of the video. I didn't want to make it a very big deal. I didn't want to make it a fundraiser that you guys contribute to. I want this purely coming out of my pocket and I guess Ten's pocket and going to you guys to give back. I'll be answering more questions about this on my live stream, so if you want to go there and ask, that's the place. If creating some fake smushed together titties can do any good, <laughs> I'm, glad, I'm glad I can. I know it's not quite Mr. Beast money or anything like that. <laughs> I'm hoping this can be a start. I want to keep doing stuff like this. I want to do this at least every year. It's a subject that, thanks to you, is pretty close to me now. But I'm willing to accept that I don't know enough about it. And that's why it's in this video. I'm looking forward to suggestions. If anyone in the UK happens to run a clinic or anything like that, and you know, reach out. I'm available and I have a big pot of money to give you. <laughs> Twitter DMs are always open. Hopefully this can be a more long-term thing, but I'm very happy that we can do this as a start of something. Again, thank you Ten for hearing about this plan and doing so much to help. I want to thank you for everything. I, I don't know how to put it quite into words, but I'm getting choked up talking about it. And um, thank you again. I can't put into words how much you guys have completely changed my life. And I'm hoping now I can help some other people. Happy New Year. <laughs>